macam I think the punya safety that in Singapore hmm. that not to be taken for granted lah. I think that's something that I feel really macam very thankful about. To be like I realize only when I'm overseas, you know. I think for this like I'm always like ah, it's okay whatever, you know. I don't really care. For me at least, I wasn't as patriotic in Singapore versus hmm. overseas. Hmm. Overseas, uh, everybody need the, to know that the, I'm Singaporean. The, the. <laughs> <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Last episode. So good lah. Okay, kita dah 10, no, 9 uh, episode lalu. Kita dah jemput 9 Gen Z, 9 Gen Y. Kita dah banyak sangat bincang tentang macam-macam. Tapi hari ni saya rasa macam topik ni um, saya terperasan. Eh? Uh, banyak kali berlaku on social media. Saya nak tanya kepada tetamu-tetamu saya hari ni. Tentang travelling alone, eh, without family ataupun melancung uh, tanpa keluarga. Adakah ini satu budaya kita hari ini? Dulu saya macam tak boleh. Lah. Eh, dulu pergi dengan kawan okey, tapi seorang-seorang macam uh, mak ayah tak, tak galakkan. Lah. Okey, so Gen Z kita hari ini adalah Dahlia Zulkifli. Yes, betul. Mm. Uh, berapa usia anda? Saya 22 tahun. Okey, uh. dan beliau merupakan seorang uh, wartawan eh, mm. di Berita Harian. Dan uh, content creator kita yang seterusnya adalah Zaki Hussein. Hello. Uh, what's your age now? Uh, umur saya 30 this year. Eh, last year. So, 31 this year. 31, eh? So, uh-huh. you millennial lah. Eh? Millennial lah. Millen- you the younger... Uh, millennial ke atau I think I'm like the right one lah, macam the right the, one. The, <laughs> the, macam sui-sui kat sui-sui uh, in the middle macam itu ok uh, saya yeah. rasa ramai dah kenal tapi mungkin you dapat kenalkan yourself to my followers oh, I am Zaki dulu saya uh, kerja as a director kat SGAG now I uh, sort, sort of transition to a full time content creator for you your mm-hmm. your role in Berita Harian yes. you are wartawan, wartawan what do you do sebenarnya uh, wartawan bagi um, belia dan juga isu kemampanan lah yeah, so that's what isu I'm... kemampanan yes yeah, sustainability terangkan sikit apa benda tu yeah, so I think right now I think the issue of sustainability <laughs> macam sangat dekat lah dengan hati orang oh, belia so okay. saya akan mengupas topik-topik uh, dalam wacana but then more of like the youth segment lah yang saya akan bincangkan this is heavy uh, heavy kan, kan? Yeah, isu kemampanan Okay, mm-hmm. ini istilah pertama kali saya dengar okay. istilah ini digunakan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I understand what sustainability yes. is lah. Kita ada dua content creator yang yes. berbeza sangat lah eh, yeah. dari ni eh. Tapi soalan saya sama. Uh-huh. Uh, soalan saya pasal apa? Saya nampak ramai anak-anak muda uh, on social media dia orang travel sendiri. Mm. So saya nak tahu macam generasi hari ini kan. Is it something yang biasa tak? Because saya tahu both of you dah travel on your own yes. uh, sama ada work ataupun uh, school lah well, you you travel to Doha uh, right Doha, yeah. Qatar right Qatar. you want to tell a bit about that first yeah yes actually uh, when you know I, I don't know where, uh, bila if you were traveling dulu kan okay. I don't know whether it come from a place or tau, like you want to get out of Singapore uh-huh. so okay. for me it was like that Like, dulu macam alamak Singapore bosan saya ya. then like and then you know what uh, I want to leave Singapore kan so even though life kat sini is bagus like we everything is good sometimes comfort isn't uh, last time I, I wasn't seeking comfort lah I was seeking try, trying to uh, luaskan my pemandangan so I was I flew to I, I was applying a few things and then I ended up in Qatar where my opportunity lies kan ada biasiswa juga di Qatar jadi that's where the opportunity is lah And I, uh, saya so spend four years there, yeah. okay. and it was like, uh, and in in between that four years, I travelled to a lot of places lah, America, mm-hmm. Pakistan, Turkey, Macedonia, because it's all in there. That was my travelling era. If orang muda muda cakap lah. So kalau this is something you look forward to, so travelling alone for you memang tak apa lah. For you is that's what you want is an adventure, kan? Ah, uh-huh, it was adventure, but at the same time, I think. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it as like I'm trying to escape something. Mm. For me, it's like oh, I want to go out and like tell <coughs> all these stories to my colleague, to my family, tell mm. all about. And I also used to be last time I was like a content creator for my family lah, like <laughs> I post <laughs> online just to my colleague to like, to comment and to share. Now it's just yeah. a bigger audience. Yeah. Uh, now the family becomes a bit bigger. Uh, so yeah, that was my intention. And I was like yes, yeah, after traveling, I was like Singapore is a great country. There's no need to, <laughs> but it's good to really go outside and see different kind of uh, perspective. Even mm. Islam also, like how people practice Islam overseas is very different. Oh yeah, betul. And, uh, how people view some sort of different politics also lain, and mm. at the same time, like it's nice to just learn, 
not everything is in our just get out of the bubble and try to understand different perspective. Mm. Yourself, you pernah. I think uh, <coughs> I dengar you pernah travel to meet your family. Eh? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, tahun lalu saya pergi ke Stockholm lah untuk jumpa dengan kakak saya. Okay. Selepas tiga tahun saya belum jumpa dia, and I think it was because I really missed her a lot, and also she was homesick lah. But that wasn't my first time traveling on my own. So, kalau pertama kali ialah mida jangket uh, di Perth, Australia. So okay. that was my very first time. Kerana urusan kerja kan saya harus pergi. But I think um, saya rasa ibu bapa akan nak kuatir lah kan dengan uh, oh, our mesti, safety mesti. and everything. And we're like younger, <laughs> going on our own. So I think my parents were really very worried. And they know actually takut naik kapal terbang. I'm actually really scared of turbulence. Oh, okay. So they were like really worried. But then I think for me, when I when I left for Perth, I make sure that my parents were very observant that I can be independent, boleh berdikari lah untuk menguruskan diri I. And I rasa... Throughout the whole experience di Perth tu, I it was something very new because like you must be able to be like street smart, jangan malu untuk bertanya and everything. And I think it was really out of my comfort zone lah. Like I think because it was for work also, I was very scared whether I'm going to bangun lambat ke tak kan? You know, normally if you travel, <laughs> at first, yeah, yeah, right. normally if at home like Dahlia, you need to wake up or we have like you know itinerary hmm. and everything. But then because you're working, you have to be much like, really responsible lah. So I rasa tu macam something very new for me and okay. yeah. Because I know I I travel a lot yeah. and I have incidents macam which I nak tanya you all whether mm. you all ada this kind of incidents we've seen people kena mark you know I travel with a, a, a team of mine I belong there jangan and we were in uh, I shouldn't I don't think I should say the country uh-huh. but it was in a very very busy state in in Europe So a busy city. So I bilang dia, don't leave your room alone. You nak pergi mana? Bawa I. Mm. Because we are attending um, a TV event. So tak tahu kenapa dia leave alone. You know, I pun tak tahu. <laughs> Then bila dia balik, knock on my door. Lepas tu dia cakap, I just been marked, dia cakap. Wow. I got marked in the mm. apa tu, subway. I said, hey, you cannot, this place memang tak boleh. So if I'm her father, I'll be like macam... Mm-mm. Uh, uh, kacau lah You know You pernah Encounter Anything overseas tak? Mm. Macam Dangerous ke You know That you feel hey, I, I need my family now So far tak But then I think in 2013 2014 Saya mm. pergi ke Amsterdam dan Paris eh okay. Bersama um, My cousin lah And at that time My kakak pun belajar di London mm. So bila saya di Paris tu Saya rasa uh, Tidak selamat <laughs> And then Actually I, I'm talking about Paris lagi I think the I think the Serotype <laughs> memang <laughs> True uh, uh, Serotype tu Dah quite low. Yeah I don't know why Kat right. situ I think Okay You continue yeah. I think <laughs> Memang I dengar macam ni lah yeah, uh, I, I pun takut I realise dia punya culture Macam They will look at the way you dress kan I mesti macam tone myself down tau To make sure I tak kena rob or anything uh, And then after all Because we are just two young girls right mm. I rasa I was also takut Then I decided to stay in the hotel Okay Then we Everything mm. so we Bawa makanan balik ke hotel Because we were really very yeah, worried lah betul. And then like some of them They can actually talk to you Dalam bahasa Melayu eh mm. Macam jual barang and everything So I rasa okay I macam Rasa tak sedar hati And then okay lah We just decided Because I think it was macam One day di Paris lah So we just saw the Eiffel Tower Then I was like Okay tak ada It's okay You cannot sacrifice You punya safety kan yeah. So tak apa mm. But di Amsterdam pula We went through I went to Amsterdam was the red light district Oh, okay. okay, and then I was like, okay, but you tak tahu lah. I tak tahu. You tak tahu. And then okay. I think the pre-culture there also very open, mm. so I'm like, oh, terkejut wow, lah. Okay. Like when I see certain things uh-huh. at such a young age, I said, like, wow. Okay, but then yeah lah. With that also, I'm much um very concerned about my safety, but also mm. it makes me more aware, much um how you punya penampilan also like you cannot you cannot think much um mm. kami di Singapura we can just yeah. be using whatever we want or like you know. Betul, betul. So we must always be. Wear, weary And then mm. always bersama-sama lah Kan Everything buat together But your parents tak ada macam kasih you Cakap Okay you boleh travel to Europe mm-hmm. Tapi Jangan keluar malam I mean I'm sure yes, They give you some uh, Apa tu Rules kan Rules correct And I mesti update Update then Throughout I got mm. to 
tell them that I'm here or I dah sampai restoran ni nak makan everything lah I'll just update so I rasa dia punya communication dengan ibu bapa tu sangat penting so hmm. rasa that is my experience so far lah have you watched have you watched Emily in Paris oh yes I did do, actually, do, do you think it's romanticizing yes, uh, Paris a bit correct actually eh. macam to me uh, nothing amazing lah <laughs> <laughs> no you're not saying anything uh, bad but it happened mm-hmm. yeah, you know right. and especially kalau tempat yang bangsa you tengok eh this is very like you say very romantic place mm-hmm. and sebagainya uh, I mean every city in the world yeah. there is a place yang you nak kena jaga-jaga mm-hmm. correct, correct. Uh, you know the main city of course ramai orang mm-hmm. but the suburb mm-hmm. and then they also have uh, areas yang macam mungkin ghetto areas ke apa yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you you tak boleh seorang-seorang I seorang-seorang pun I takut <laughs> even yes, uh, you travelling alone yeah it's, you, you never know mm-hmm. I pernah travel during New Year mm. New Year's Eve okay. so I nampak dia partying kan mm. so one of them bawa barrel of air macam beer gitu mm. and they would you know charging, charging it and then kawan dia semua <laughs> cari it's like it is really wild yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't you you nak kena jaga lah even for guys I think yeah. especially mm. you travel alone lah mm. you pernah ini go into macam situation yang you rasa macam eh I've not seen this before I think I will I think in uh, a lot in Doha was very Singapore like I feel like Doha okay. was very like Singapore macam like, safe it's a well to do country mm-hmm. uh, where all the basics are met I mean, so the and then you and then uh, Doha is a kind of place macam like, oh you it's also very easy to travel out so I would say that my that kind of experience is in America lah mm-hmm. so America mm-hmm. culture the line even uh, small things like tipping and I have to get used to it yeah macam like, berapa yeah. lah kena kalau tak nanti dorang offended Uh, but I think that it was a fear of like um, if I get into trouble again, anytime mm. they can uh, pull out a gun. Oh yeah. Because it's a it's a bit different there. Yeah. It's for self defense also. So that fear, uh, I mean, so far I don't really have uh, experience like that. Maybe I don't look like someone worth uh, robbing. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, lah. <laughs> <never know. laughs> no, that this is not an invitation. <laughs> But okay. uh, a lot of time, actually the main trouble overseas was actually more like money, uh, yeah, like yeah. the budgeting. And then sometimes you got no money, we too. Just sekarang nak tanya mak bapa kan. We too, you suffer with your friend. We too, <laughs> don't eat good for a few days. Sampai okay. you get money. Okay. You pernah macam kerja part time overseas juga? Ah, uh, pernah pernah. Just to you know. Uh, make things happen lah income wise yeah, to make ends meet lah macam okay. and it was just uh, pay to pay lah uh, dulu oh, okay. what kind of work is that yang you buat I was doing a lot lah macam equipment cage uh, huh? equipment okay. part time equipment at my school punya oh. equipment store and then kadang-kadang uh, apa eh uh, professor me assistant okay, uh, okay but then dulu-dulu kita orang ada banyak we spend a lot of money lah because ada banyak social events mm. and then dulu uh, oh. when I was younger we wanted uh, social validity kan mm. so you always go up into Ella tak ada duit ah. <laughs> okay. how often do you update your parents when you are overseas overseas for me every time when mm. I leave house also I will update them everything okay. lah gambar pun akan hantar video so with me oh. and my sister it's like oh we are here we're eating semua update lah so don't tak risau sangat yeah mm. okay but that's because you Traveling much and tourists lah. Mm-hmm. It's not work. I don't think mm. kalau kerja you. Actually, I pun masih update because for me okay. it's like tabiat lah dari Singapore kan. Mm. Like I will always update them mm. and like tell them you know this my my location or my ET or everything. So I much and bawa that with me lah wherever I go. Even though don't mm. tanya that okay. that much cause they trust. Like, say for work kan ada orang jaga. <coughs> but I think it's my responsibility lah to have mm. that ease of mind kan untuk my parents. Kau hantar nak dorang macam overthink ke tak boleh tidur, you know? So yeah. yes. Uh, tak boleh tidur betul. Dorang tak update aja memang tak boleh tidur. Mm. Uh. Yeah. You dah besar macam mana pun. It's still the same. Mm. You tak update. Uh, mm. Dulu I tak percaya tau this thing. <laughs> <laughs> betul, betul. I mm. macam tak percaya because mm. macam sometimes I see my arwah father mm-hmm. kan dia mm. akan tunggu kan yasim ha, akan mm-hmm. tunggu kat bawah blok ke mm-hmm. kat bus stop ke yeah. dia akan tunggu so I, macam kenapa eh budak tu dah besar kan mm-hmm. tapi tak it's not about budak besar ke belum mm-hmm. eh, you cannot tidur kan sampai semua dah masuk rumah Okay, yeah. saya tak apa lagi overseas. Mm. Do you update your parents ke apa bila? I wish I update okay. more as much as you. <laughs> maybe I'm a guy. Yeah, maybe yeah. I am a middle child also. So I'm a middle child. Really? Yeah, but uh. I still update. Oh, okay, okay. You better, you better. <laughs> yeah. But 
uh, in Singapore, I wasn't very uh, macam my parents don't really roam me also because mm. I just do my own thing. Mm. So I brought that over. So okay. <laughs> so a lot of oh, times okay. was okay. if update macam Harry Raya ke mm. ataupun if I'm in trouble. I mean that is very not good lah. Okay, kita cari dulu lah. Cari bila perlu. Ah, cari bila perlu. This is a need based parenting. Ah, <laughs> okay. uh, interesting. Or, yeah, or get into trouble or like, uh, or if they call, also I will uh, try to pick up lah. But a lot of times I'm not as responsible lah mm-hmm. in that way. Mm. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, so I'm learning to be a bit more okay. updatey. <laughs> okay, outside school and work, mm-hmm. you pernah yeah. travel with friends. Belum lagi. Uh, yeah. No? I'm so fun, no? Yeah. Okay. Will you be macam, uh, adakah your parents akan izinkan you? Mm-mm. Kalau macam I... keluar dengan friends without them, <coughs> though? Saya rasa uh, mereka akan izinkan. Because firstly, um, they macam dah lihat eh, the way I am boleh berdikari and you know manage myself through my travels in uh, Australia and also Sweden to see my sister, kan? But then also, they also need to know siapa mm. kawan I. And I also oh. very terbuka lah, like you know, okay. I always bring my friends over and let them see. But then I think also it comes in the picture which country we go to, mm. and also apa kita punya itinerary and everything. And mungkin the trust has to be built over time lah. Yeah. But so far, I rasa my parents that give green light. But in a sense, sebagai anak, I think it's my responsibility to, to be very honest, like be very thorough lah with the itinerary and everything like that. Mm. Tapi for now, I belum buat rancangan lagi. Yeah. But then we will okay. see yeah. And also must check Like which kawan <coughs> I rasa I should be Travelling with Because I tak nak To be the one Who be leading or You know hmm. Doing everything on my own kan Yeah Okay yeah. Yeah, yeah. I tak nak assume You Will Macam be Your parents will be okay Ke tidak If you travel with friends Outside your studies Outside oh. Macam okay You just travel I just want to Explore uh, When I was overseas It was a lot of freedom Kan yeah. macam Because we were already overseas yeah. So traveling, oh, yeah. traveling <laughs> overseas from overseas is a lesser like, um, uh, a hill to climb for parents, I feel. Because mm. you already established the first one. But maybe the plan of belajar overseas too. Uh, oh. Like, uh, like hey, your iman kuat ke tak? Uh, then, uh, <laughs> like, senang dipengaruh. Was that her apa tu, oh, advice to you? My mom's, uh, okay. my parents punya... Uh, that one, lah. Lah. Maybe guys, we, they don't really worry about security. Okay. Like we got that privilege a bit macam boleh mm-hmm. kan uh, they worry about more about eh nanti can you carry yourself well mm-hmm. or will you embarrass mm-hmm. us overseas <laughs> uh, because uh, a lot of times you are, we will be the only Malay in the country and people will see you as their representation of the whole race so will you mm-hmm. memalukan masyarakat kami that kind of thing <laughs> the pressure eh uh, <laughs> do I tell my ambassador <laughs> when you're overseas so yeah like, I feel that responsibility overseas lah That's mm. for my side. Uh, mm. It's not really about the security. It's more about carrying myself well. Mm. That's what they worry about. What I know about traveling is that it's um, it's an experience where you tak akan dapat uh, alami kalau you tak keluar negeri. Yeah. Maybe I want to ask you about your uh, life lessons when mm. you are overseas. Something that I rasa... I, I want to encourage people to travel. Yeah. And I want them to know it's a lovely thing actually. Mm. You know, what's your take? Uh, what do you learn when you're overseas? <clears throat> I think for me, macam, I think the safety that in Singapore, mm. that not to be taken for granted lah. I think that's something that I feel really macam very thankful about. To be like, I realize only when I'm overseas, you know, I think for this, like, I'm always like, ah, it's okay, whatever, you know, I don't really care. But I think when I'm overseas, I rasa keindahan, you know, like visiting another country and mm. also like, I think the pure nature and like, the sights and everything, I for me, I find that really very nice and it makes me want to travel even more. Yes, actually, for me lah, like, I think I I shared this with my my parents that I think since I stay sing, single, right, I really want to travel on my own and do a bit of like self-discovery or like explore lah, right, because macam tak ada commitment and everything. So, I rasa For me, it's more the traveling part. It shows like, how I manage myself and also my chance manage my premium finances also. Because mm. yeah. I think because I'm working, even though I'm still young, but I tak mean that my parents do it for my traveling. I said like for food, they will still give lah, right? Out of goodwill. But I think that's something I learned because all along bila like, kecil, they will pay for me everything. And I'm like, mm. ah, tak apa lah, I just take the most expensive is my parents' money, what, right? <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> but then, no. Yeah. When I'm traveling, I think that was something that I really, really took for granted. Yeah. And... I think twice or much I think receipt. Okay, so this me and my sister we go grocery shopping. 
maybe we should do things in moderation or yeah. kalau nak makan oh, kat luar. Kira, eh? ah, now I kira. Uh. So it's like these are the kind of things that I rasa yeah. macam tukar perspektif I lah. And also dari segi kewangan, I think that was really like the big deal that I've really learned. And I rasa, I think membuka minda in a sense to also appreciate other people's culture and everything. Yeah. I think everything, yeah. the punya way of life, cara hidup tu very different. So I think for somebody young like me, it make me realise that masih banyak, banyak yang I perlu belajar lah. And mm. I also need to, you know, um, I think for me just to travel more lah. And mm. I think so far that's what I've learned. Yeah. Do, do you normally get culture shock? Uh-uh. I do. But do you like? Oh, okay, okay. I just like it's okay. Just don't judge, lah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Your side, your side. My side also similar. Like uh, just uh, sounding off, uh, sounding off. We, I think, it's mostly trying to. I encourage like people to go there and live there. Mm. Is it or just mm. having yeah, it? Yeah, for four years, eh? Four years, yeah. Four yeah. years, sure. Eh? And then Doha recently did World Cup. Yeah. Mm. So I feel wow. very proud. Mm-hmm. That's my second home already. And then I was like, finally, people don't confuse Doha with Dubai. Yeah. So when I oh, they do eh. People uh, over here, people think uh, and I say, uh, oh, Doha is it in Dubai? Oh. And then a lot, okay. yeah. So Doha is not as popular. So mm-hmm. I'm happy for Doha holding the World Cup. So, yeah lah. Uh, I think the perspective one is important, mm-hmm. just to luaskan and just to receive a lot of like information. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, I I have some friends who struggle with mental health a bit mm-hmm. when they were overseas okay. because the the life is so different from their life back home. So for example, okay. my friends who are from China, then they studied in the same uni. So a lot of them really couldn't uh, couldn't get used to the life in Doha because Doha is a lot of gathering, it's about mm. welcoming you to your home. And then in China, it's always all this one-child policy. Mm. Oh, so going okay. there and everybody like trying, hey, come here, come here, come here. You know, uh, a wow. lot of my Chinese friends, they were just stuck in their room, trying to get familiar with, trying to reminisce back to their back I home when you're to... And it's it's okay. There's a lot of uh, challenge. There's a lot of uh, perspective that you your perspective that you get challenged. Like I think I yeah. mentioned about the Islam practicing Islam. Mm-hmm. Over here, yeah. having a dog in your home is a no no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Over in Doha, mm-hmm. or a Muslim, or a Arab, or yeah. uh, these are supposed to be the yeah. quint- quintessential Muslims. Yeah. Right. They have dogs in their home. Yeah. Betul. betul. Uh, yeah. Right. Then so you ask them. You then you ask them how. And also the house are very big, very big lah. Mm-hmm. They have have a lot of helpers. <laughs> And yeah, lah. So it's very nice to learn about there are a lot of ways to live, and then you come back with all these lessons. Uh, and also, like uh, I also learn to be a bit more generous there. Uh, mm. Orang Arab, they are very generous people. Mm. Uh, even though they are, don't have a lot of money, they welcome you Ramadan, especially they welcome you to their home to mm. makan. Then I brought a bit of that back. So not really, yeah. So I'm happy to uh, what that was my life lesson. Or just to be open and learn from other people mostly. Mm. Yeah. What's one a uh, memory that you think is useful for you mm-hmm. when you travel overseas and it's useful here i do believe like i you know what like when making friends overseas uh when you make <coughs> very close friends overseas and these friends are from <coughs> all over the world i was in school so a lot of people from middle east america europe uh Leb- lebanon like across that region even asian mm-hmm. like and we were film students so we had to work Uh, <coughs> like the cameraman is the DP is a uh, Pakistani, my art director is a uh, Chinese, oh. you know, like sort of like you had to work together despite all these culture differences, right? And then when you you bring back, right? Uh, then like when I managed to uh, nurture all those friendships with them, when I come back, I was like, huh, you know what? Actually, uh, differences isn't really that. We come from different countries, but you still manage to have a very good bond and relationship. For me, that lesson was the most important lah. Then I come back, I was like, uh, oh, actually the difference differences are actually not that. Uh, so you are supposed to push it away. Actually, you should actually embrace it and <coughs> yeah. And then Singaporeans are not that different. That's my yeah. mindset. Because when we are overseas, we are they're very different. Mm-hmm. Then coming back, uh, that was one of the things I carry with me lah here when I come mm-hmm. back to Singapore. And when you meet another Singaporean overseas, it's oh like, Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then we will always go to the only Malay place or like the Malaysian or a lot of Malaysian place outside, not a lot of Singaporean restaurant. Yeah. We will always go to, you the Singaporeans out. will always go to the Malaysian restaurant uh, <laughs> to like hang out. And then, then I got a lot of, then we will have our own, You, know, uh, I, I feel like Singapore, for me at least, I wasn't as patriotic in Singapore versus mm. overseas. Mm. Overseas, uh, everybody needs to know that I'm Singaporean. The, the, 
<laughs> you just want to sometimes lah. You not familiar people lah. Uh. You know. Uh, how about you? Do you have? I think so far. Okay, when I was in Stockholm, can I realize something was? I think the budaya Malay. Actually, there are a lot of Malay communities in mm. in Sweden. So I think at one time my sister, sebagai contoh, ada actually homesick lah, and we actually bekal banyak makanan for her. And actually, there's this one family who invited us, and they masak asam pedas ikan. And What? my sister was so happy to eat. So <laughs> I think yeah. there is a good budaya. I think that mm. part was that I think that memory or that it really impacted me is that actually no matter how far we are, actually we all macam together tau. No matter where we are. And I think yeah. the punya sense of home and the punya feeling of that that grounding that we have, I think was really very comforting lah. Like, even for me and when I when I looked at them, I also macam bawa sambal bacaan for them or you know lingam <laughs> all those kind of stuff. I think to also have that that taste of home. And when I You know, like come back here, and you know, I think we take things for granted, lah. You know, I think there is a gi, um, you know, the community and also our culture. So I think for me, in that sense, I think it was really very nice, ah, uh, heartwarming. I think of how big, um, actually, budaya Melayu, our hearts, you know, for always to be there with one another. So I think for that, I was really very touched, lah, and I bawa mm. here all the way. Yeah. yeah. I think th- thanks for sharing that mm. because I percaya sangat bila you overseas banyak perkara yang you rasa Um, a problem masalah you macam tak sabar over there you betul-betul sedar diri yang mm. this is you know different you in a different land if you have a young person yeah. who wants to travel what would be the things you ask them to look up for I think for me so far bila I learn I mean we can untuk orang muda we can prep as much as we want um, you know before kita berangkat or go, go overseas but I think for orang muda we have to learn how to be adaptable in whichever country and you must be able to react fast lah so I rasa I think that's something yang very important lah bagi yeah. pendapat mm. saya yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, get the basics right first like uh, if you have any insurance that's very adult yes. things <laughs> correct yeah I yeah. have to pay I was like eh, I didn't know what I and not cheap ah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah, not yeah. Yeah. So get the basics first, like money wise. Yeah. That is basic adulting, not even traveling. Uh, and then uh, last time we used to have couch surfing. Uh. Have you heard about it? Yes, I what? Sir? Couch, couch surfing. surfing. What is that? Eh? It's like a traveling yeah, website Mm-mm. where you can make friends overseas, Mm-mm. and they can host you when they, you meet them. Oh there. yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. No, at my time during my time. Is this new? It's not new lah. This thing memang dah ada. No. Oh, dah ada dah. dah oh, okay. Tapi sekarang tak tahu tak. Ini tak aktif sangat. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, if you can make a friend there to show you, like if you want to really immerse yourself, you can make someone, you can make friends there who can bring you around. Uh, or your friends, if you're driving your friends, you can bring you around. And a lot of times they are, they know the country better than you, and they can give you like advice also. Yeah. Oh, that's a good advice, eh? I mean, having someone there, I think uh, you definitely need help, lah, kasihnya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the amazing thing is that you really make good friends. Yeah. Uh, macam even if you spend a short time dengan orang, you become macam dah kenal lama punya kawan tu. I think kalau macam if you're young and if you get the trust of your parents, <laughs> all okay, you know, it's, it's, it's good to travel and have a really open mind. Yeah. You know, open mind because only tra- travel akan berikan you semacam pengalaman yang you tak boleh dapat kat uh, Singapore. Yeah. Uh, we are so comfortable kat Singapore. Okay man, thank you so much uh, you. for sharing, you know, and guys please follow them on social media. Maybe you want to tell them your handle ke apa? Oh they know already. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, just follow yeah, them. Like you before. Yeah. Okay. Your, yourself are you on TikTok too? No. No. Very private. Oh, <laughs> Very okay. private, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a TikTok, but for personal use, lah. Uh, I think yeah. kita tunggu sampai you offered to be like a talent or something, mm-hmm. like exclusive uh, talent, lah. Uh, <laughs> then you'll be like, like <laughs> open, kan? Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Thank you so much. This is uh, untuk musim ni. This is a uh, last episode. Mm. Saya tak tahu sama ada kita akan ada uh, another ten episode ke apa. But if you support this uh, content, you know, like and share it, then mana tahu we can continue uh, this by the way kita on spotify uh, you can see, you can listen to the extended version guys thank you so okay, much thank you thank you, thank you.